Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I actually have a very special beer tonight, but you might not think that, because this beer is actually made by a friend of mine, and no, it's not a homebrew. I mean, how often do you say that? A commercial beer is made by a friend of yours. Um, you might remember back around Christmas, I did an unlisted review of the prototype version of this beer. Um, but Jeremy, uh, who's the you know brewmaster, brewer, owner of this beer company, has reformulated the uh, recipe a few times since then. I think he said this is the fourth batch since they've gone commercial in January of this year. This is a it's a gluten free beer that's that's like real beer, and it is none other than the Steadfast Beer Company's Sorghum Pale Ale. You know, pretty big at 6.8 ABV, especially for a pale ale. It's got the Cialic friendly logo on it. You know, and you can read the description, but the whole point is it's a gluten free beer that tastes like real beer. And for whatever reason, the government says if you're a gluten-free beer, you have to have nutritional facts on it, but not for regular beer. Do not get the, do not understand the double standard. So we get in the glass, has a nice clear copper, you know, appearance. It's actually, you know, almost crystal clear. You just got some condensation in the glass because, you know, pretty warm and humid out. Get a, you know, decent white kind of fluffy head on there. It's kind of fizzled away since then, but, you know. As far as the aroma, I mean, it smells way better than it used to. They've they've started dry hopping it, so you get a lot of uh, cascade hops on this one. So it's kind of like light, kind of citrus, a little bit of orange, <clears throat> and at the same time, I mean, a really hint of like pine needles or something like that. You can smell the the sorghum base under it, but in this instance, it smells a lot like a cider, or like like. Not even like not like a hard cider like a woodchuck or it smells like a real apple cider that you get at the you know country store or whatever. Almost like like apple juice. Maybe apple juice is it's almost like, like you took apple juice and threw hops in it. That's kind of how it smells. Here we go. Cheers. Yeah, the, the recipe has definitely changed, or they've, or at least you know, improved upon it. I don't know about perfected it, but it's definitely so much better than it was when I had the prototype batch around Christmas. I mean, it just tastes like real beer. We get you know, a little bit of hop bitterness up front, um, through the middle. Get the that those hops are really kicking in with like almost a real subtle kind of like orange sherbet in there. Where it's getting like that kind of apple cider, a bit of a spice, a little bit of like a rustic uh, resininess to it. So uh, they've really, you know, done well with working the hops with the, the sorghum taste. It's actually really refreshing too. Drink this on a hot night, as you can see in the glass, is uh, soaked with sweat. And as a pale ale, you know, it's got so it, it has hot bitterness, has taste. As far as actual taste, I mean, I can compare it to like a Sierra Nevada or any kind of, I don't know, it's hard, to, it's hard to think of like a really famous but generic, you know, pale ale. Something in that category. Mm. Really, you know, if I really pay attention, I really can pick up that kind of resininess, like that, it's like a tree bark almost kind of taste to it. This really like rustic, earthy taste. It's the, it's the synergy between the sorghum, the molasses, and the hops. Um, I think they could, you know, amplify that like even more and turn this into like, you know, just at, you get so you could probably get so much hops in there you could turn this into like a very six point resin type of flavor. I mean, it's nowhere near that as it is now, but you know, as far as actual taste goes, I mean, it, it just tastes like a regular pale ale, you know, in six point eight ABV, so a little big, a little bit bigger than your average pale ale. Has a little bit of that kind of cider taste in it, a little bit of the apple juice kind of taste in it. Like I said, it's actually quite refreshing. So, right through the middle there, a little bit of like apple juicy kind of taste. You get a little bit of that sorghum kick right as it finishes, but then it, it fades away completely. The prototype batch I had, it really stuck around. Whatever he's done since then, they've really fixed it to make that much it's much more drinkable it's it's flat out refreshing now i'll go on record and saying this is the best you know gluten-free beer probably ever made at least the best gluten-free beer i've ever had not that i've really had a lot of them 
But uh, I like it better than Dogfish Head Tweezanail. And if you're a first time brewer and you can have a beer that's better than a Dogfish Head beer, I mean, that's something really worth, you know, bragging about. Um, I mean, I'm not going to give this a 10 or anything, but it's, it's a, you know, very good, very solid, very sessionable uh, beer. Reasonably priced, six bucks for a bomber. Um, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10 for this Steadfast uh, Sorghum Pale Ale. You know, it's a very good beer overall. Um, it can hang with re your regular, you know, regular type of beer. Uh, again, 8 out of 10 for Steadfast Sorghum Pale Ale. Uh, I'm going to try to get Jeremy in the kitchen and uh, ask him some questions about this. So be sure to check out my Chat 976 channel uh, for that. And I'll put a link below. Uh, once that's ever made, if it ever is. So, um, thanks for watching this probably overly long episode of Chaz Beer Reviews. Only three left. Can you guess what ones those are going to be? It's going to be pretty special. Cheers.